some fun off that. Oh, come on, Sarah. It's a good compilation, that. All the classics, Silent Night, Away in the Manger. All right, I'll take it. Cheers. It's Christmas, Mum. Oh, you don't remind me. I've never been to it all this. We were once. Stockings by the bed. That was a long time ago. What's the matter? Well, why don't you go without me, eh? Because we're supposed to be doing some shopping together. Yeah. Christmas shopping. Sarah! Tell her, yeah? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Right? Don't worry, it was a bargain. She was just getting rid of the last few. Yeah, before the needles fall off. That'd be great when it's done up. Yeah, we'll do it before my dad comes around tonight. Yeah. And are you sure you don't mind him coming, yeah? I said I didn't mind. Mm -hmm. right, right. Oh, sorry, boy. It's all right. That won't get you in the Christmas spirit, Roy. No. Don't reckon it will. You get what you wanted? Oh, you're joking. Every time I go, I always end up getting another toy for Ben. Oh, well, sure, then. What do you think? Oh, Kathy will love that. <laughs> I can I'll take out, please. Have another. Christmas present? Yeah. Every year, I swear I'm going to start out early, but it always gets left to the last minute. <laughs> Still... Christmas is really for kids these days, isn't it? No, sorry, no offence. None taken. A few business, though. Oh, yours too? Yeah, only I never close. Now you make me feel guilty. Oh, I just meant the doors were always open. You know about the crib service tonight? It's a six in the fancy bringing Ben. Oh, I've got a dance match tonight. And I thought you said Christmas is for kids. So you tell Kathy about coming over for Christmas? I've, uh, been a bit busy. Well, I don't leave her too long. She might make other arrangements. Thanks for the advice. So, is Tiffany coming down today? I think so. You think so? Great. Oh, don't stop, honey. You know she's been ill. And if you ask me, she's a bit stressed today. <laughs> yeah, well, she ain't the only one. Hiya, yeah. how are you feeling? You really want to know? Let me get you something to eat, yeah? No, I'm going to get ready to give my hand downstairs. Well, it seems you're managing all right with that, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't help admiring the view. It's from Rebecca, isn't it? Yeah. So she's still working on the love boat, then? Yep, I bet she's coming back soon. Yeah, that's great. I bet she's got some stories to tell. Except I don't know if I want to hear them. All the places she's been and things she's seen. She's made a real life for herself. Yeah, well, so have you. Have I? Yeah, you, you got married and, well, you caught his mum. Yeah. Well, Aunt Sal seems to have taken over that role. Well, all I'm saying is you've done all the things you wanted to do. Maybe. Or maybe I'd just do what everyone else wants. What do you mean? I heard Grant and Peggy talking about me having another baby. And? And it was like it had nothing to do with me. Like they didn't even have to consult me about it. I mean, can you imagine how I felt? Look, Tiff, you're not doing well. You're bound to feel a bit out of touch with everything being stuck up here. Maybe you should go down and give them an hand, yeah? Yeah, well, what's the point of that? Like you say, they seem to manage everything else without me. Hello, how's it going out there? Yeah, good. I think the shop was about today. Uh, tea, please, take away. Alright. Matthew's a Sonia. Good friend of mine. She's up for the Christmas holidays. That's nice. Well, I used to live around here. Matt's got a record store. No. Oh, yeah. Sonia's always been a bit musical. I play the trumpet, actually. I've got a really good umbershoe. What? Good <coughs> passion. <laughs> Alright. Ah, hello. Yeah. Alright. Oh, not ready. It's murder out there. Yeah, Sarah said. Oh, was she back then? Was, but went out again. So that's all your Christmas shopping done? Oh, I hope so. I don't want to go through that again. Well, that's not the Christmas spirit, is it? Just wait till you do yours. Hey? Are you going to get your kids something for Christmas, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Of course I am. Oh, Terry? Yeah? Did Sarah say where she was going? Round to help Alex with some kids' service, I think. Oh, she said uh, she'll be out late tonight. Carol singing. What do you think? Yeah, it's beautiful. Especially the lights. It makes me wish I was a kid again. Oh, it wasn't that long ago, was it? It feels like it. Go on. No, look, it doesn't matter. You better answer that. Hello? Yeah, speaking. What? Oh, how did it happen? No, I had no idea. Well, when's the funeral? Yeah, of course I'll come. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Alex? Hmm? Is everything all right? I couldn't help overhearing. I think I need some fresh air. Could you manage without me for a while? Yeah, yeah, of course. 
I tell you, I don't know how some firms operate these days. They come in at ten, two hours for lunch, and then they leave early to beat the traffic. It's Christmas, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I bumped into Dave Benson last night. Yeah. You remember him, didn't you? Yeah. But he wondered if he wanted to meet up later on. Business? Well, no. Not exactly. It's his Christmas bash. I thought one or two drinks might hurt. Uh, no, I've, I've got a lot to do here. Yeah. We'll have to stay late. Well, yeah, you go if you want. Dad, don't you think you might be doing a bit too much? I, I, I know it's difficult, but at your age, you're working all the hours God sent. Well, whose fault is that? Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, look, um, it's just I really do have a lot to do here. Yeah. Here you go. Looks like you've been busy. Yeah, well, Boxing Day Stephen's birthday. It's pretty miserable for him last year. For you too? Yeah. So I'm going to try and make it up to him. What you got for me then? Not quite what you wanted. Hmm? Look, there's no easy way of telling you this, but it looks like Holland's strictly legit. What? He started out by making some pretty good share deals. And then? He got serious. He worked the money markets and it looks like he won. I gather you're not into the festive season now. Oh, is anyone? Well, I have been known to appreciate the properties of Mistletoe in my time. Mm -hmm. And I still keep an open mind as to whether a fellow in red is stuck down some chimney somewhere. Yeah, well, it won't be mine. He wouldn't waste his time on a cynic like that. Well, you're a prime candidate then. You know what they say? Every cynic is just a failed romantic. I just use that one, dear. You're a shame, sir. No, Barry, you've done the right thing. Yeah. Don't you worry. You leave the father to me. Very pretty. And <laughs> you do it. All right, mate. Oh, yeah. So where are you going to be for it, then? Well, I was going to go and see my folks, but they're uh, wintering abroad. That's how my mum put it. That's a cheap, happy holiday lifting in the vodka and tonic. <laughs> what about you? Oh, the usual. Pub, grub, booze and snooze. Bliss. You're easily pleased, aren't you? Ah, oh, it's nothing like a family Christmas. You can just see it now. Sarah will be the refuge, Mum and Terry on the eggnog, and I'll be pulling crackers on the own. Oh. So what do you reckon? Season of goodwill and all that. Think you could survive a few festive hours round at the Eels' house of Hill? Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, OK. I'm not pulling any crackers, though. Still, you never know. Maybe a big fella in red will get wedged down the chimney after all. Eh? Hey? I don't know what this is all about. I'm perfectly all right. Then why didn't you tell me about the other day? Barry. He's your son. He's worried about you. Yeah, but there's no need. Look, I do know what I'm doing here, you know. Do you? Yes, I am working. I am trying to make money for us. It's going to get easier soon. One thing I've learned in life, Roy, is that money comes and money goes. Might make things easier, don't make them any better. I want you to see a doctor. For me. be important. Hello, Deals on Wheels. Oh yeah, hello there. Yeah, uh, hang on a minute. No, 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 I'm, I'm still here. It was really nice at Matthew, weren't it? Yeah, not this nice. Just wanted to make a sale. Well, you asked me about me number, sure. Are you going anywhere near it? If you're such an expert, now's your chance. There you go. Oh, thanks. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Fine. Yeah. You? Yeah, I'm right. Do you want one? Oh, no, thanks. Going anywhere nice for Christmas? Oh, no, I'm just staying at home. You? Oh, yeah, same. Well, I might see you around then. Yeah. Josh? Yeah? Merry Christmas. Yeah, you too. You should have tried the embouchure. Go ahead. Yeah, oh, can you send the sign around for us? Why? Because I've got to close early. Well, I won't keep you, so it's about Christmas, honey, Mum's still asking. I told you, I'm going to help it out the refuge Christmas Day. No. I suppose all this is for them, I know, is it? Well, if you must know, yeah. Said I'd do my charity box. I always thought charity would be going at home. <laughs> Ian, can I talk to you a minute? Yep. It's about Christmas. What about it? Well, if it's all right by you, I'd really like to be here when they open their presents. Yeah, okay. Oh, thanks. But not on Boxing Day. What? It's not convenient. But it's Stephen's birthday. I've just told you. You should have checked with me first. I'm only thinking of him. I've got him some presents. Yeah, with someone else's money. It doesn't matter who paid for them. I don't think you can buy your way back into their affections. I don't have to. I'm still their mother. 
Remember? Should you going to be getting ready for your service? I suppose I should. Something happened? Yeah, I had some bad news today. An old friend, a priest. He died. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. He was a good man. Did you work together? No. Ray McKinnon was a Catholic. I see. I should have kept in touch. I was meaning to call him, but I just kept putting it off. Well, we all do that. You mustn't blame yourself. You've had a lot to do here. No. I should have found time. He deserved that. Everything I am to do, I owe to him in some way. Right. You nearly finished, don't we? Hi, Frank. You all right? I'm fine, thanks for a lot, yeah. Do you want to see if these lights work? Sure. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time, it makes a change, doesn't it? I'm going to make a cup of tea. Do you want one, Frank? Cool, not after, will you? I'll put this round the tree, shall we? Sure, sure. Uh, Diane called Claire yesterday. I think she was too embarrassed to ring you. How is she? Well, you know, Diane, she says she's coming back soon after Christmas. Oh, don't worry, she's going straight up to Manchester to pick up Jacks. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's really nice. Reminds me of when you was all kids. Oh, stupid. What? Well, we ain't got nothing for the top, have we? <laughs> How about this? Well, this, what do you reckon, B? This or this? Well, I don't let Frank choose. Dad? I think an angel might be nice, wouldn't you? Yeah. Are you OK? Yeah, why? Well, you just look tired. Maybe you should go upstairs and lie down for a bit. Well, I think I could decide that for myself, don't you? Love, I'll see to her. Time for a lunch. No, it's not. It's all right. Uh, Aunt Sarah's got a new routine. Oh, yeah? I think it suits her better. Yeah, well, it doesn't suit me. I just wanted to pass on the invitation. What invitation? Well, your dad and Mark are coming over to meet Christmas Day, and well, I'd like you to be with us. Oh, I'd love to, if I can get the time off. Well, surely Ian won't expect you to work Christmas Day, will he? I don't know. I'll have to ask him. Yes, well, you do that, and make sure he knows why you want the time off, all right? Thanks, Andrew Gordon. See you later. Anything up? Do you know about Mark? What do you mean? Well, either you do or you don't. How'd you find out? He told me himself. And I'm wondering why you didn't. It wasn't my place. It's up to Mark if he wanted you to know. I don't believe him hearing this. He's got AIDS. HIV? Yeah. I'm sharing a place with him. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Don't tell me you think you can catch it off a coffee cup. Don't be stupid. I know you can't. Then what's the problem? Look, Mark obviously trusted you when he told you. Doesn't that count for anything? And anyway, you're not at risk. If anything, it's Mark who could catch something off you. It's his immune system that's been compromised. Yeah, I realise that. Then what is it? I just wish someone had told me. That's all. That's all. She's helping out of the refuge. I don't think she can get out of it. Sure she could if she wanted to. And what's happening to Ben? Ben had love to spend the afternoon with you. Yeah, I'm sure he would. Well, there you go then. Mum, I don't need... Talk to Kathy again. She'll understand. Why don't you go around and explain, eh? And the angel said to them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Could anyone tell me where this is? Sable. Sable. Should we listen to the story? Things happen. Come on then. <laughs> Cheers. Well, they don't like a couple who've had a bad weekend to me. Right on. You seen Kathy yet? No, not yet. Oh. Uh, what can I get you? Right, what do you fancy? Well, you can stretch your damages and tonic, could you? Anything you like. So, you staying for the match then? No, I'm going out with Chris. Oh, it's getting a bit serious between these two, isn't it? What is? Tip, tip, love. Nothing? Why? Just curious. Come on. There you go. Look, uh, don't worry. Hey? Your mum reckons you're going to win. Right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks very much. Nice service. Uh, thank you. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is really beautiful, Alex. I'm glad I came. Yeah, so am I. It's funny, isn't it? I'm the one that's supposed to be supporting all you lot. Not meant to be the other way around. Well, why not? When something happens, something important in our lives, well, it's good to share that. You can't always cope alone. Yeah, only I'm not alone. I have my faith. Yeah, 
Well, maybe sometimes faith isn't enough. Hello. Hi, oh, sir. Where are you off to, then? I'm just going to pop in and see Kathy and Ben. Oh, right. Well, I'm uh, not sure she's back yet. Right. From the group service. The what? Well, she brought Ben to church with her tonight, and when I left, she was still talking to Alex. Was she? Yeah. You know, I think Ben really enjoyed it. Right, well, I'd better go. Oh, Merry Christmas, Phil. So, it's a big night for the team, then, eh? Last game of the year. Peggy, yeah? can I have a word? Is it now? Listen, I'm sorry if I was a bit off with you this morning. Oh, that's all right. We're all a bit cramped up here at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. And Peggy, um, I know it's none of my business, but did you and George have a nice time this weekend? Is it that obvious? We're back together again. Really? Yep. We had a long talk and really sorted things out and made a decision about getting married. No. Yeah. We decided we wouldn't. What do you mean? Well, he still wants to make an honest woman of me, but I couldn't desert this place, even for a man like George. And besides... What would you and Grant do without me now, eh? Yeah. Hold up, there's Kathy. And get started. Kath! So you don't mind coming on early? Oh, not really. We're getting old. Yeah. Never. <laughs> it's hard facing it, but when I first came back, you're half expected Tony and Sarah to be the same as when I left. Stupid, isn't it? They're grown up, same as Simon and Tiff. Mm, Sarah won't be needing me much longer, that's for sure. What do you do then? Me? I've always got the house to go back to, haven't I? Yeah. You know I wouldn't ever want to lie to you, don't you? Lie about what? Your house. What about it? Well, I know. Know what? I know you sold it a long time ago. <laughs> Who told you that? Well, does it matter? How long have you known? Quite a while. Sorry. <laughs> what is it? Sorry, it's just funny. What is? <laughs> the pair of us, don't you see? All that time you're keeping this to yourself and I knew all about you. What do you mean? There is no business deal, Terry. You're skint. Skint as I am. Yeah, you got it all wrong. You've been seen. Down at Bingo. Really? Really. <laughs> now that is funny. You're telling me. And you never told anyone? Why should I? We're two of a kind, me and you. <laughs> You're right, Irene. We're two of a kind. You have to get to see a doctor. I can't get Roy to do anything these days except work. You do still love him, though, don't you? Why, of course. It's just different. What for Frank, you mean? Look, you had a choice between them and you chose Roy. Yeah, I know. It didn't stop me sleeping with Frank, though, did it? Oh, you're confused. It still happened, Kath. And you said yourself you regretted it. Look, we're just talking about sex here. Well, well, that changes. It never stays the same as it is in the beginning. Roy didn't change. Never even started. What? I don't believe it. Nor do I sometimes. But tell him he's never... He was married before. It started after his wife died. Oh, well, surely that there's counsellors. Roy, ask for help. You're joking. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was my fault. I didn't push him about it, even at the start. After what I'd been through, I was grateful for a bit of affection. And Roy did care for me. He still does, Pat. Pat, we need a double three here now. It's up to you now, love. Do your best. Two, you need a double two now. She knows. <laughs> 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 
Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awaits. Well done, Pat. Played really well there. Oh, thanks. Night, no, night. No. Kath, I told you. Don't tonight. worry, I won't say anything. I better go pack the baby so it'll be waiting. Right, night. Night. It's getting late for the walk in. Yeah. Yeah, why not? <sighs> Is Courtney all right? Yeah, she's asleep. Mum told me, you know, what her and Georgia decided. Oh, yeah? She said that she told you and that you were pleased for her. Yeah, well, why not? I mean, at this rate, they're going to be the longest courting couple in the Guinness Book of Records. I thought about what you said, and you're right. But, you know, she's still my mum. Yeah, and I'm your wife. Well, I know that. Do ya? Because sometimes I don't feel like you do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just someone's daughter-in-law or someone's mum. Well, what do you mean? Grant, well, I married you because I love you and I want to be with you and I want us to be a family. I don't mean Peggy, and I don't mean Phil, and I don't mean Aunt Sal. I mean you, me, and Courtney. I want us to be a family. I still want that. So do I. That's why I think we should try for another baby, like you said. You want us to be a family, so we're stopping us. It's not the right time. It never is a right time. I know. But right now, I want to be with you, and that's all. And why did you marry me? What? I need to know. I've told you before, and I... Why don't you tell me again? Why didn't I just show you, eh? Grant. Grant, don't. What? I don't feel too good. Great. Well, I don't. And what about all the other times? Yeah, before you got ill. <sighs> Look, is this some sort of game? No! Then what is it? You really want to know? Yes, I really want to know. All right, then, I'll tell you. There's sex and there's love, and I know the difference between the two, even if you don't. Merry Christmas, Pat. And you. Ooh. You're cold? No, no, no. It's somebody just walked over my grave. The ghost of Christmas past. You know, ever since I come back today, I just couldn't help remembering. Remembering what? Things. Doesn't really matter. No. I'd like to know. But there's something about the three round of Rickets, you know. Reminded me when the kids were little. I met tonight in the Vic. I really couldn't help remembering. The cut you saw. <laughs> it's all right to remember. It was a long time ago, wasn't it? You asked me to marry you then. When you said no. Oh, but I changed my mind. Eventually. Yeah, well, like you say, don't you? It was a long time ago. Born that man, no more may die. Born to raise us. Is that Roy? Born to give the second birth. Are there all angels sing? Glory to the newborn king. Pat, I, I haven't come back here to stir up the past. You've made, made a new life here with Roy. I mean, you know, he's given you everything. All the things I couldn't. And you deserve them. Frank. Mm -hmm. You gave me the best memories anyone will ever give me. That's all they are, sweetheart. Just memories. Hello, boy. What are you doing here, huh? Oh. 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 Sounds nice, the singing. Yeah. Look, Cathy, I just wanted to thank you for today. Has there been any peace, is there? Oh. Roy? Roy? What is it? Oh, I don't know. 
know, sweetheart. I just found him. Oh, no. What, what is it? What's wrong with him? Call an ambulance quickly. Roy. Roy, can you hear me? Oh, please, God. Oh, oh, maybe we should have telling Sarah come back. They won't. Oh, wait, listen. <laughs> there must be a fire somewhere. Yeah, you're right there. <laughs> Roy. Roy, it's me, love. Pat, come on, come on. Give us some room, mate. Kathy, what's going to happen to him? We don't know, love. He's in safe hands now. This is hot, isn't it? They're not sure. Come on, Pat. I'll come to hospital with you. Uh, no, Pat, you got better to look after. Oh, okay. God. No. Um, somebody's got to stay here and, uh, and tell Barry what's happened. You just leave it to me. Was that heart attack? No. Yeah, he's in the hospital. Poor bloke. We should think, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I don't want you going the same way, thank you. Thought you might like some tea. Thanks. You know, you can go home if you want. We'll call you if there's any change. No, I'd rather stay here. That's all right, of course. It's a bit loud, isn't it? Oh, it's Christmas, Dad. Look, you look after my storm, I've got my phone. I'm the market inspector. I do not look after storm. This is no ordinary storm, is it? All right, then, let's be having you. I've got some right crackers here for you. Guaranteed the best in the market. You can have them for just two quid. Two pounds yeah. for a box of Christmas. Don't get us a box of crackers, eh? Now, pal, what's like a box of your hands? Wise man, thank you, sir. There's a gentleman who's a bargain when he sees one. Oh, oh and a the young lady there, thank you very much. All oh, right. Who's your dad? He's stable. They're keeping him in case there's another attack. Uh, I was going to ring the hospital, but they didn't like to hear it. Yeah, well, they only tell family. That's what. Awesome. Lucky I found him when I did, you know. Yeah. yeah. I was out for a stroll. You what? I was just out for a walk. You know. Oh, right. How's Pat? Oh, she's still there, yeah. She won't leave him. Mind you, he wouldn't leave her either. Should have set an alarm. It's too late now. What am I going to do? I don't know. You want to take it easy? Christmas Eve. What? Oh, you're meant to be on holiday. Why don't you give the refuge a miss? Well, because I enjoy it and people need other people at Christmas. Who's that car from then? Joe. All right, is he? Yeah, yeah, he says so. You know, it's Terry hasn't had one single Christmas card. Can't have a lot of friends. Well, perhaps people just don't know where he is. I wish we didn't. He must have got up pretty early this morning. His bedding's all cleared away and everything. Well, that deal must have come up. Get real, Sarah. There's no deal. He's been borrowing money off people for weeks. Yeah, well, I just hope Mum isn't taken in by him. Mm. I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Lonely in this Christmas, I'm 
Can you turn this off, please? Sorry? The music. It's a bit early in the morning, even for me. And Stephen hasn't finished his breakfast. I was just reading this card. Well, I'd prefer it if you kept an eye on the kids. One, Stephen. Back up to the table and finish your breakfast, yeah? Just try and keep your mind on your work. Last night, right in the square, whack, out he went. I'm surprised I didn't hear anything. Come on, Courtney, you've got to eat something. You're putting too much on the spoon. What? She likes to take her time in the morning. Well, how bad is he? Can't be good, can he? Not a nice Christmas of Pat, though. It's not bright for Roy, either, is it? Phil? Go on, pass us the milk, will ya? Well, lost use your arms or something, have you? No, I'm trying to feed her. Well, nothing's going to spoil our Christmas. Christmas dinner tomorrow and party on Boxing Day. Party? What party? Oh, it's always a dead day on Boxing Day, but not in the Vic. Party time. What sort of party? Well, everybody who comes into the pub puts their name in a hat. In another hat, we've got a list of forfeits. You know, you sing a song, we sign a poem, mimic Elvis, whatever. Anyway, when your name gets pulled out of the hat and you do the forfeit, you get a couple of free drinks. That's a great idea. Yeah, well, I think I've already done my forfeit. And I don't want anybody forgetting about Midnight Mass tonight. What? Midnight Mass, we're all going. I ain't going. Oh, yes, you are. But I don't want no buts. The Mitchell family are going to be like the Partridge family this Christmas. All for one and one for all. More like the Adams family. Here's your milk, Morticia. I thought you'd have gone in the ambulance with him. Isn't that what vicars do? Keep playing, Dad. Why you end up like Roy? Me? More likely to be you. But you know tension's a killer. 8-7. I thought you was going to self-combust yesterday. Oh, maybe I had good reason. I thought Christmas was meant to be your time. It's nothing to do with Christmas. Oh. Remember Father McKinnery? Vaguely. He died. Oh, I'm sorry you should have said. Didn't really want to talk about it. I all my serve. With a box, it's a gift. Yeah, but we don't need that many. There's only for you and Frank. Oh, we want a four each. Right, Barry. How's Roy? Oh, you've heard. Yeah, how bad is it? I don't know, just on my way back now to see him. No, that's Pat. She's still there. Listen, can I go a little for you? Because, no, I'd like to see her. Yeah, okay. Right, listen, tell Phil what's happening, then I'll be in later, all right? Thanks. Really? Hey, if you want to get some of these, he's virtually giving them away. Have you heard Roy's had heart attack? No. Last night. Well, no, it doesn't surprise me. Who's going for it? How is he? We don't know. Why couldn't it have been Cindy? Are you going to buy the turkey? Do you want me to get it? Turkey? For Christmas dinner? You're not going to get yourself a small sliced loaf of piece of cod and perform a miracle, are you? I'm at the refuge all day. Oh, great. I'll open myself a tin of spam then. Do you really think I want to spend Christmas Day looking after that lot? Well, I have no choice. I just love religion. It's a wonderful way to justify everything. God says, this is the way it's going to be. And because it suits the rich and powerful, we all step neatly into line. Oh, keep it up, son. You're doing a great job. Your serve. I just want it over with. I know, the longer she stays around, the more dangerous she is. Don't worry, if anyone's got Cindy's number, it's me, January the 8th. When she gets in the dock, that'll be it for us. Oh, no. Hey, uh, heard about Roy? Mm. I was there. Oh, terrible, isn't it? Yeah, well, he was asking for it. And you should know. Not that bad. Pat was going to have Ben, wasn't she, while you went to do your good Samaritan? Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I'll tell you what, you come to us. Phil can look after Ben while you go off to the refuge. Well... Oh, Ben will love it. Solve your problem. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Thanks. That's what family's all about at Christmas, helping each other out. Why don't you come over to dinner too, Ian? You three will have a ball. I've already made arrangements at home. Oh, right, and I've got to go. I've got plenty of things to do. Mm. Well, these on the market. <laughs> Oh, you've got some too. Real bargain, isn't yeah. it? See ya. See ya. Yeah. Why don't you come across to the VK? Let's have you doing the cooking. I'll do with the support. I've got Cindy coming over. What? Mum, how's it going to look if I don't let her see the kids on Christmas Day? Yeah, I suppose so. <sighs> Mum, I'm not going to let her accuse me of anything when we get the call. I'm going to look like the Archangel Gabriel next to her. Sleep. It's all right. Oh, I fell asleep. You've been up all night. Oh, I shouldn't have fallen asleep. Right, 
there's anything me and Bianca could do? No, we're, we're just waiting, love. Get over the next couple of days. He didn't deserve this. We've all got to keep praying for him. Look, I've had a word with the doc, and he doesn't seem to think he'll wake up for a while yet, so why don't you go home, freshen up, and then come back? It'll only take an hour. You'll feel so much better. No, I've got, I've got to be here. Yeah, you will be. Look, me and Barry will make sure of it. No, I, I, I don't want him to think he's on his own. He won't. Look, we'll get you back in plenty of time. That's what went wrong, you see. It was all by ourselves. What? I should have supported him more. You did just fine. Come on, Pat. He's a good man, your dad, Barry. Good man. Yeah, I know. He's got a bit mad on the Christmas pudding. She? No, no, I've got them. They're for the refuge for Sarah. Oh. We've got to go a bit for Christmas, haven't we? You see my pliers? No. Well, I need them. Well, I haven't got them. Hello, Irene. Is my dad there? No, he's not here. He's gone out shopping. Yeah, well, when he gets back, can you ask him to ring me? I was wondering if he wanted to come across for Christmas dinner tomorrow. No, he's having Christmas dinner here. <sighs> yeah, well, he might want to change his mind and spend Christmas dinner with his daughter. No, he won't. Bye. And what was all that about? Just asking me dad over for Christmas dinner, that's all. Without checking with me first? Yeah, without checking with you first. Or Peggy? Look, I live here and all, you know. I think you should have checked first, out of politeness. You got your brother coming over, ain't that enough for you? Grant, it's Christmas. And I thought I might be allowed more than one member of my family over for Christmas dinner. I still think you should have asked Peggy first. <laughs> now look what you've got to done. I've only just got her off to sleep. I'll take her out for a walk. But no, she'll go to sleep later. Look, she'll let, be let her take her for a walk, yeah? Just help me clear this stuff. I'm not looking forward to Christmas with just him and me. I'd rather be at home. I thought you were coming over to us. He doesn't want me to. He wants me to be there when Cindy comes to visit the kids. It's a shame you all couldn't come over and see us. <laughs> Robbie, uh, where's that mistletoe? I don't know, mate. You know me. This is Mary's lucky day. Depends what you mean by lucky. <laughs> Go on, Mary. Well, why would I want to be kissing him when there's so much better an offer? <laughs> Kiss him. All right, come here. <laughs> I'm just giving Tiffany a break. Do my last bit of Christmas shopping. Oh, that's good of you. Uh, I'm, I'm just off to buy something. I'll catch up with you later. Good work, Peggy. What can I do for you? It's about Terry. He's been looking for work, but not had any luck. And I was wondering if you had any for him. Yeah, I might have something. Oh, great. Thanks. See you. Bye. You got five Thank minutes till I'm calling the Thank police. You. What's happening to season of goodwill? Still wait to get a license. Very masterful. What are you doing here? Uh, got five minutes, right? Just up there, check tomorrow is okay with you. Yeah, of course. You see Matthew? Yeah? He's got all the makings of the next switch of friends. Well, I should have just let it go. It's too old to start from scratch. Maybe I should have offered him a bit more than then I would. I'll start getting soft. That was business. All right, man. You look busy. Got oh. Sleeder. You won these free of every perch over 9 99 Where'd you get them from? All sailors. I did a deal. I get Grant this for Christmas then. That looked great on the tree in the bed. Thank you. Keep the change. What are these? Special tree fairies. Korean. Free of every perch is over 9 99 Don't touch them. Slave labour. <laughs> Look, are you trying to ruin my business? No, I was only joking. In fact, it's probably good that they do come from Korea. Stocks are really poor people from starving. I'll go and get Claire. Where is she? In the cafe. Morning, ladies. Oh, morning. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. Have you seen these? Oh, oh, look at this circle. Oh, <laughs> oh that is nice, isn't it? Oh, I do love these Christmas recreations. How is he? No, they've got him sedated. It's going to be fine. Mary! I had this wonderful notion. You and me should go to midnight mass tonight, along with everyone else. Not if I can get the time off. And what's the man like? Father has the right to Christmas dinner with his daughter. It'll be the first time in 15 years. Come on. Well, seeing as Ian's not giving me Christmas Day off, Mark thought it'd be a really good idea if you all came around to Ian's. Well, there's a thought. Mark! What you change? Oh. <laughs> That's Kath. Morning, Kath. Morning, uh, as Alex. How'd you be? Well, you know, Father McKinnery. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's you know I wouldn't leave uh, Oh, Mr. Healy, have you seen Alex? Yeah, he's gone straight round to church. Oh, good. All right, Neelam's got some Ben cans for us. Ben cans of what? The 
somebody's got to have a word with him. Mary's going to be stuck over there all Christmas Day. You can't do that, Polka. Well, Ian's refusing to leave the house. I think we should all go out on his place. Oh, yeah, I can see him agreeing to that. You can always keep down at mine. You can have my bed, I'll take the floor. Mm -hmm. Well, it's either that or sharing the sofa with Terry. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. So you're staying there? All right, thanks. I'm looking forward to going back to my flat my own, actually. Mm -hmm. Right, Tony. I am now. We're finished for Christmas, mate. Yeah. Simon, if you're thinking about taking a break, forget it. Hey? We ain't got time. Well, I've just seen Tony go in the calf. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'd, I'd rather work. Oh, good. Good. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Well, I need a word, mate. Not now, Mark. I'm busy. Come and ask me again in a few weeks. Well, thanks. That's a nice furry, Frank. Yeah, what is a love of a bow, isn't it? Yeah, it's silly, man. Courtney! Courtney! What's wrong? Courtney! Courtney's gone! I love to hear it, she's gone! Uh, she's gone, Scott, yeah? Courtney! Have you seen Courtney? I've lost her! What? Help me find her, please! Courtney? Please, someone's taken the baby! Anybody? Look, she's all right. She's fine. You don't just take someone's baby without asking. I didn't take her. Look, she shouldn't have been left there in the first place. None of this would have happened. Nah, let's forget it, shall we? At least she's safe. What are you doing? It's a surprise for your mum. I say, look. No. Wait till tomorrow. You'll see it then. It's not something rude, is it? What? It's not inflatable. You've got a strange mind. Mum, uh, Polly's going to be staying with us over Christmas, yeah? Oh, that's nice. Whereabouts is she going She's going to be having my bed. I'll be sleeping on the floor. He's such a gentleman, your son. Yeah. I'll just go and get a few things. I'll see you later. Yeah. That's a turn up for the book, isn't it? She's a friend. I'm doing her a favour. Yeah, sure you are. <coughs> Terry, do you fancy coming over to the Vic? Only Peggy said she wouldn't have a word with you. Really? What about? I don't know. Ta-da. Yeah, see ya. Leaves a baby by itself in the middle of the street. Natif. She'd have been fine if Bianca hadn't come along. If Bianca hadn't come along, you don't know who would have taken her. Any pervert could have got her. I'm sure Sal would have got... I could see her through the window. Bianca should have said something. You what? She said she could see her through the window. But if she could see her through the window, how come you didn't know who'd taken her? You're overreacting. Overreacting? Grant the woman nearly lost her baby. Who do you think's been looking after Courtney all oh, this come time? Come on, She thought her baby was been stolen. You know, give her a break. I'm just trying to calm the situation, that's all. It was just a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Too right it was a misunderstanding. I'd never have let you near my baby if I knew you was going to leave a part outside some castle. Any passing freak could get her. Now, that's enough. No more arguing. It's Christmas and it's five past eleven. We should be open by now. So let's get on with it. Go on, Grant. <sighs> now, come on, Sal. Let's go and get you a gin and tonic. Now, I want everyone to forget all about this. This is the season of goodwill to all men. And I meant what I said about Mass tonight, Phil. I want you there. Claire? Look who I found. Oh. Oh, how you've grown. I wouldn't have recognised you. Oh, it's not that long. Give us a kiss then. Mr. C's going to be staying with us over Christmas. Great. Oh, well, I was going back tomorrow, but apparently there ain't no trains. It's really good to see you, Miss C. Isn't it, Claire? Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about Christmas dinner, because Pauline's already insisted that I have it round at hers. That's nice. It seems a pity, though, not to spend this special time together. We'll have to see what we can do. Who's that? Boy George? I know it's not much. It'll do for me. Well, collect the empties, and if it gets really busy, you can help wash the glasses. Start straight away, won't you, Terry? I'm clocking in as we speak. He won't let you down, I promise. This sort of man who just wants to please. <laughs> Oh, I love her. Peggy's just given me a job here to put me on. Till his deal comes through. All oh, right. Did Irene tell you that I've invited you over here for Christmas dinner? Oh, yeah, well. I told you we were going to have dinner at our house. Let me tell you. Yeah. Sorry. All right, then. Just thought I'd ask. Thanks for uh, not 
telling her about the deal. We're in partnership, aren't we? We've got to stick up for each other, aren't we? Is that right? That's right. Take it to work. Right. Hello, Simon. Mrs. Hills. Are you thinking about coming over to see us over Christmas? Yeah, I suppose so, at some point. And yeah, I think I ought to warn you so it doesn't come as a shock to you. Tony's got a girl staying there. A girl? Mm, Polly. Is she staying at your place? Yeah. I don't get to arrive yet, no. No. She's moved in, is she? So it seems. Boy, you don't look the type to mess around with fairies. Yeah, we'll only do it at Christmas. What do you mess about with normally? Anything that takes my fancy. Like what? Well, hang around long enough and you, uh, you might find out. Oh, sounds interesting. <laughs> what are you doing? Collecting glasses. Well, don't. It's my job. Your mum employed me. Have you just given Dope there a job? Yeah, I did. But why? Because he needed the work. Oh, superb. Why didn't you just move the old family in, eh? Let him run the place. I wonder if it'd be a problem. What, if you come to see your dad? Yeah. He's your dad. Why would it be a problem? Well, I wouldn't want to make things awkward for you. Eh? I thought it might be embarrassing, seeing as how you've got someone staying. You mean Polly? Of course I mean Polly. Why? I haven't got anybody else staying here, have you? Why should it be embarrassing? I would have thought that was obvious. She's staying here, that's all. <laughs> yeah, of course she is. She is. We don't all go jumping in the bed with the first person that smiles at them. Meaning what? Oh, nothing. Now, come on, what do you mean by that? I touched the nerve, have I? Oh, well, that's rich coming from you. Any port in a storm, innit? Oh, you what? Look, just get off me! <laughs> you idiot! You started it. Oh, no. What? Look! Oh, no. Well, you could at least give her Christmas Day off. See, he's coming round. I need her here. That means you're about to see her down on Christmas Day. I'm sorry, Mark, but that's the way it is. And you can always come here. Oh, yeah. But it won't be at me mum's either, will he? Well, what am I supposed to do? You could always invite us all here. What? This is our first Christmas with our new relatives. We've got a lot of lost time to make up. All oh, right. I mean, look, you can all come round here. The more the merrier, eh? I don't care. Could I go up to the tree? Mm. You'll never guess what. Ian's invited us all round for Christmas dinner. That's brilliant. This is going to be a great Christmas. <laughs> Not long till me favourite bit of Christmas. Oh, what's that then? Midnight Mass. You'll both be going, I expect. Oh, well, well, I'd love to, but I can't. You see, if I stay up too late, then I just sleep in the next day. Yeah, and, um... I've... Yeah, well, um, right now you'll be going. He'd love it. Ah. Uh... If I don't find a replacement, they'll think I did it out of spite. You can just give her one. One lovebird? Don't have the same ring to it somehow, does it? This was your fault. Mine. Oh, come on, let's go and see what we find. Merry Christmas. What are you doing here, Mum? You're not a Christian. Hasn't been saying I can enjoy a good sing song. Well, this isn't just about having some sing song. Ooh, it's in my book. Tell me you'd invite Kathy. Well, I didn't invite her. She just turned up. I didn't know you were coming. Yeah, I just felt like I wanted to, you know. I'm sorry about this morning, Tiff. It's all right, it weren't your fault. It's a stupid bags over there. I thought it was going to kill her. Courtney's all right, eh? That's the main thing. Yeah. It must be great waking up Christmas morning and opening presents for your own kids. That's what it's all about, isn't it? B, what are you doing tomorrow? Not a lot. Well, why don't you come over for Christmas dinner? I can't. Of course you can. I've got Frank. We'll bring him as well. I don't know about that. Why? But Peggy would love it. She said she wanted a big family Christmas, and you're my family, nearly. Well, I could ask Ricky. Eh? Well, I don't think he'll say no. Sounds great. I'm going to have a brilliant Christmas. It's 
all right, love. It's all right. Hi. It's good to see you. What day is it? It's Christmas Day. That's nice. It was wonderful. Anyone see what happened to Cathy? Oh, she needs to talk to the vicar about tomorrow. <sighs> I see Bianca turned up. Yeah, I invited her, Ricky and Frank over for Christmas dinner. Why? Because I wanted to. Make sure you hold on to your baby. <laughs> you what? Only joking. No, you weren't. She just said she was, didn't she? Grant, whose side are you on? It's got nothing to do with sides. It was a joke, Tiff. No, it wasn't. I'm going to bed. What's the best we could do? You should have said you were inviting Bianca around here. Why? Well, because it's polite, and after what happened with Aunt Sal, do you think that was going to make her feel? Aunt Sal? I don't give a flying frog out Aunt Sal feels. She's a guest here. Yeah, and I'm your wife. You should be backing me, not her. You're my wife. You're my wife. Yes, I'm your wife. Well, then start acting like it. What? You consult me before you invite people oh, around don't here. don't start, Grant. This is important. No, why can't you just let it be? It's Christmas. I just want to enjoy myself. Well, I ain't stopping you, am I? Yes, you are. How? By just being here. What are you doing? If you ain't gonna have fun with me, then I'll have it by myself. Now get out! What? Get out! I'm sick and tired of being told what a rotten wife I am. Now get out! Look, I've been wanting to see you all day. To see me? Well, about last night. I think Frank felt a bit awkward and he was married to that. I see. I felt sorry for him. Yeah, of course. Well, uh, do you want to come in? Oh, I'd love to, but I don't think it'd be a good idea. Well, I didn't mean it like that. I'd... No, no, no. I just meant for coffee. Yeah, I just meant it's been a long day. Right, well, uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Do you enjoy service? Yeah, terrific. Are you by yourself? Yeah, I just felt like going. A bit dangerous walking home alone, eh? Well, I was following you, so I thought if anything happened, I'd give you a shout. Well, you better get to bed, otherwise Santa won't come, will Did you girls uh, fancy a nightcap? Oh, yeah, where? <laughs> Back in the fairy grotto. Mm. <laughs> you seen Grant? Yeah, yeah. Well, where is he? He's just getting a breath of fresh air. He's fine. He's like, Tiffany, I, I wouldn't. Come back though. It's only half past one, and if he does come back and find you here, he won't leave any more presents. So we have to go back to bed. Really? Yeah, really. And we have to go to sleep because Father Christmas knows for pretending. So, 
Stella, are they? Who? Those girls. What girls? Don't give me that grant. Oh, they've gone. They just came in to use the phone to call a cab. Liar. All right, I'm lying. They said they wanted to spend the night with me, only I said I'd rather spend it with my wife. What are you playing at? Nothing. You're the one that threw me out. You brought them back here. Well, where are they, eh? I mean, where are they? You see, I was just proving a point. Now you're coming to bed. Come round the corner, and Jessie's in the lead. She's beating them all. Do you have to try these now, Jessie? In a minute. Let's go. <laughs> Phil. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I, uh, I brought this for Ben. Oh, thanks. The other one's for Courtney. That's good, yeah? And, uh, this is for you. Thank you. Uh, do you want to come in and give Benny's present yourself? Well, I don't want to interrupt anyone. Like what? I don't know, uh, impromptu carol service. You put those in the living room, Courtney's still asleep. Right. <laughs> right Merry oh, Christmas, man. Merry Christmas, darling. Oh, happy Christmas, too. Happy Christmas. Come on. Take it easy. We've got a long day ahead. Come on, slow coach. I just let them get on with it. It's the only way. <laughs> Where's Courtney? Oh, she's still asleep. Oh, you should get her up. You don't want her to miss anything. No, no, I'd rather she slept. But this is her first Christmas. No, I'd rather she slept right. Oh, I think I just heard her. Oh, i go and see if she's awake then. <sighs> Tiffany. Are you still angry with me? No, I slept with you, didn't I? Or we're in the same bed, if that's what you mean. Look, let's just forget about what happened and enjoy Christmas, eh? We need to sort things out. Oh, look, not now. I just want to have a good time. Happy Christmas. Is it? Can I find Cindy coming round us? Uh, about four, but no, you know, she could turn up in the middle of dinner. If she does, I'll... If she does, you can handle it. All right. Cool, man! That will be her, don't worry. Yeah? What you got? Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Ian. Merry Christmas. Hey, come back in. Oi, oi, oi. Now, I've got the turkey cooking. I'll bring it over later with everything else, all right? Yeah, good job. We've only got a seven-pounder. Well, we've got Dot, Nigel and Claire with us now. Dot? Yeah, well, I said they could come to me, but now you've so come. Bring them all along. Right, so we'll have their food as well, so we'll have plenty. Three turkeys. Yeah, well, it won't get lonely. <laughs> I've got some presents here. Yeah, come on, kids. Santa Claus left at my house by mistake. Yeah, well, um, perhaps we can open these later, yeah? Well, let them have them now. Yeah, go on. <sighs> go on in, open them if you yeah. want. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Up early again this morning, Sarah. What? Good. I have to clean up. I thought you'd fallen asleep in the kitchen or something. No, no. Oh, I should treasure this. <laughs> come on. <laughs> have you seen it? No. I think you'd like it. It's a love story. I searched everywhere for that. It's one of those books that's got everything in it. You know, it's about life. Right, thanks. I hope they're the right size. I have to guess. <laughs> Women love that sort of thing. And for you, Irene, something very special. There was an accident. Um, that was the best we could do. At least it gives you some idea what it will look like with the, with the other lovebird. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. You want me to yeah. eat these puddings? Um, just put them out of the way. Simon, help Sal put them in the living room, will you? Yeah, right. uh, you can manage by yourself, can't you, Simon? I'll pour the sherry. Sherry? Always start Christmas Day with a sherry. It's a little tradition me and Harold had. Oh, what's his new tradition now, then? What? Well, now that he's got a new woman. There's no need for that. Sorry, let me ask him. I saw Kathy and Ben this morning. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I took Ben his Christmas present. Oh, thanks for Courtney's present. She loved it. I never know what to buy. No, no, it's perfect. When's Kathy coming over? I don't know, she said she's going to the refuge and she's going to visit Roy and then back to the refuge or uh, well, somewhere. Oh, I think it's really good of her. If I didn't have Courtney, I'd try and help out. But there you are. Oh, oh. Sherry? I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. Must be terrible not to be able to have a drink at Christmas. Oh, it's not a problem, is it, Phil? No. Merry Christmas, everyone. <sighs> this is dry, I want a sweet. Dad? All you've got to do now is rest and get well. So no more talk about sounding yourself out. I can't. 
can't rest for too long. You've got to. That's the business. Forget about the business. I realise, Dad, that you can't have much faith in me after what happened. Barry, what's done is done. But I'm going to run that business for you until you get better, and I swear there won't be one mistake. And will you just take it easy? And get better, please. Come here. You're my son. I love you, whatever you do. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Okay. Okay. How you feeling, Roy? He's better, but he's still got to take things easy. Have you got a scare? Uh, Kathy was there when I found you. Yeah, I was with Alex. Uh, he sat with you while, while me and Pat went and got an ambulance. Where's Ben? Ian's. I've got a little something for him. I'll pop round with it later. Oh, you shouldn't have. It's the least I can do. So, what time's Katie coming? Oh, I'm not sure. About four, I think. Right, we'll need all the help we can get. We could do with a lot more. Oh, I'll be fine. Look, if you want to spend Christmas with your family... No, no, no I want to spend it here. I'm like you. I love this work. I'm thinking of a lot better thing to do on Christmas Day. You don't mean that. <laughs> don't I? So, is your dad coming along? No. He thinks I'm mad. Well, then he doesn't know what he's missing. No roast potatoes, no bacon, no sausages, no heart attack. It is the only way. Oh, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Roy, it's like a beacon to us all. Bad diet, too much stress, result? Cardiac arrest. Oh, that rhymes. I think I might use that whenever I'm tempted. Oh, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Oh, isn't this nice of Ian? Well, you know what he's like. All up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my nephew, Connor. And you must be Mrs. Cotton. How'd you guess? Easy. I've heard all about you. It's as if I know you. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Oh, that's Mary, Connor's daughter. Oh, hello. And you know everyone else. Oh, hello, Kat. <laughs> Listen, have you done any of the cooking today? Some of us. Right, well, don't do any more, because you deserve a rest as much as anyone else. <laughs> Look, I'm going to have to make a move. Oh, you have a nice day, everybody, all right? And you, Kathy. Right. See you later, Kat. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the present. Wasn't me, it was Father Christmas. <laughs> Come on. Right. Ian, I'm going to be off now. Uh, thanks for having Ben for me. Yeah, no problem. Look, Mum, why don't you stay and have some dinner? No, I don't. I promise Peggy. All right. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Mum. Oh, oh. oh. Jesse, come oh it's all right. Oh, I'm yeah. used to children. Oh, you should have seen my nigga Christmas. He used to get ever so excited. Mary, I have a little gift for you. Oh, well, I have nothing for you. The skin flint doesn't pay me enough to buy me presents. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. There's an inscription on it. Read it. To my beautiful Mary. Thanks, Dad. Here, we've got hundreds of these. Ah, uh, I want some of these as well. Hey. Come on, everyone. Everyone's got a full of cracker. You've got to put your hats on as well. Go on in. Speak to John, Claire. All right, then. There was a young girl who liked ditties who used to hang around cities. Her biggest delight was the boys at night when they put their big hats on. Hang on, <laughs> Very nicely read. Yeah. Wasn't it, everyone? <laughs> I think I'll have a gin and tonic, Grant, seeing as it's Christmas. Gin and tonic coming up. I snow lemon. OK. I understand you've been to see Robin. Yeah, that's right. How is he? Fine. Does he know what happened? Well, he knows he's had a heart attack. No, no, I mean, no, does he know how he was feeling? He doesn't know you found him, if that's what you mean. Okay. Don't worry, Frank, I won't say a word. Do me a favour, will you? Stay away from Pat. She don't need this right now. Yeah. Hey, another drink, Frank? Oh, yeah, thank you. A bit of bad news about Roy. Yeah. Pat's a nice lady. Hope it turns out all right for them. Yeah, I'm sure it will. What's all this about you having to leave early? Not early, four o'clock. Got a better offer. Hey, she's helping out with the homeless. Really? Yeah, just a few hours. Oh, it's really good of you. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, don't let me get to you, yeah? No, I won't. I've every intention of enjoying today. Now pass me that wine. Let's get going. Dinner will be ready in about 11 minutes. On hand? Oh, thank you. We can manage. Have you got the stuff under control? Totally. In that case, I've just got time to put the finishing touches to the decorations. 
You know, I sold nearly 600 quid worth of gear today because of these little beauties. Well, well, did they? Just the most brilliant investment. Smells good. Oh, wow, well, it's all a matter of timing. I don't ever remember seeing you in the kitchen when we were married. Oh, well, that's because I never had a cookbook. When I discovered the mysteries of cooking, I stopped eating fish and chips every night. Too many fish and chips wouldn't have been good for you. You don't suit too much weight. That sounded dangerously like a compliment. <laughs> Maybe it was. Right, who's going to pull this with me? I thought you were saving that to pull with your girlfriend. No. Oh, well, have you invited her over? No, she's too busy with her family today. That's off the market. Oh, well, don't have a go at him. I bought him. Felt so sorry for the bloke who was selling him after you bought him out. Well, he was trading illegally. I know. Those really expensive crackers. They're only two pounds a box. They're not expensive. He was flogging you a line. Paul. <laughs> OK. Maybe they weren't that expensive. There was a young man from Port Court who had a terrible fall. He broke his neck in three places, tripping over five cases, and ended up with only one... Definitely not expensive. I mean, when I look back, I was still... I mean, I had everything here, didn't I? I should have faced up the thing. You could have always come to us, Mrs. C. Oh, Nigel, I'd been a big enough burden already. Well, we wouldn't have minded. In the future, I'm going to face up to everything. I ain't going to run away and I. I mean, when I meet my maker, I want to be able to look him in the eye and say, so far, so good, it's been worth it. Whenever we talk about the future, you always end up talking about the pearly gates. Well, it can't be far off, can it? Yes, it can. I'm more likely to go first. Oh. I can have a heart attack any minute. I'm a perfect candidate. You could live a lot longer. You'll outlive us all. So have another drink. Oh, only a drop. Did you get a card from Arcelette? They got more than a card. Oh, what'd you get? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> there you go, Doc. That's for you. Oh, I And this, this is my favourite cousin. How about that? Oh, it's brilliant. Oh. First London, next New York. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> um, excuse me, um, I'd like to propose a toast to the cooks. That's one you won't hear mentioned very often. <laughs> <laughs> Better than fish and chips, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, Mark. Cheers. 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 Full-blown snog. It wasn't just a peck on the cheek. I knew it. No wonder the sofa didn't look as I'd been slept on. Shacked up with my mum. Are you going to tell me what's been going on? What? With you and him. Nothing. Don't lie. I don't know what you're talking about. I do. Tell me. Why, why don't no. you tell him? I want to tell him. Your mum and me are seeing each other. Oh, I don't believe this. The worst things do happen, Tony. Not much. I love your mum. She loves me. You'd have to love someone to buy them such a beautiful present as this. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. It's a trouble nowadays. Nobody knows how to treat their man. Take my advice. What all men need is a little bit of TLC. And a bottle of scotch. Sorry about your present. It wasn't your fault. No, we all know whose fault it was. I'll get you another, Terry. It wasn't cheap. Doesn't matter. It's a thought that counts. This is brilliant! Here, here! <laughs> Stop, Come, stop. Oh, yeah, stop. More wine, Frank. Yes, please, sweetheart. Yeah, that's good. You know, the toast is in order, aren't you? Yeah. To Peggy, the most beautiful woman in Albert Square. Ah, I'll drink to that. Thanks, Peggy. What do you want, Phil? What do I want? Just a drink. We can have something non-alcoholic. I'll get you one, Phil. What do you want? Uh, I'll have an orange juice, Tom. Anyone checked on the kids lately? Oh, I'll go. No, they're fast asleep. You all right? Well, I've been better. What time are you leaving, Kat? In about an hour. Well, don't forget the puddings we bought you. It's not a lot, but it is something. Oh, sorry. Well, it looks like I'm in luck. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Did anyone smell burning? Oh, it was hot, but not that hot. <laughs> oh, look at the fairy. Oh. We've got to stay close. Oh, 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 fire! Fire! fire. Hey, what, what are you doing? What are you going to do? Let it burn the house down. Hey? What? Does anyone fancy another cracker limerick? No, I don't think so. Your fairy stopped flashing, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh, no. What's, what's gone to funk? Stand by for complaints. Nah, that's probably just this one. That was will be fine. Here we go on sale. Bourbon on the rocks with a twist of the lemon. Perfect. Sorting a film once with Harold. I just choked on his turkey, the cheating rat. Where do these go? In the living room. Ah, oh, shall we dance? Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Um, I'm going to go and see my dad in a minute. Why? Well, because it's Christmas and Simon wants to see him and all. Yeah, well, I ain't bothered about seeing him. Well, neither am I, but we should go and see him all the same. Go on, you two. We'll finish off here. You sure? Yeah, go on. What are these? 
What in your silly son? Where'd you find them? In there. They're for the poor. Cathy's going to take them with her. I better put them on then. That's right, spoil them. Bunch of scroungers. Who's going to get me a pina colada? Me and Harold had them in Benidorm. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see, if Amy Dad, I'm worried about seeing. It's Tony. Don't let him get to you. Well, what about Courtney? We've managed to do all right without me so far. Right, I'll only be a few hours, all right? No, do you want to stay with Benny? I'll take him over to our house. Neither. What? I don't think you should go. What are you talking about? It's Christmas. You should be with your family. Yeah, I've been with my family. Part time. What is this, Phil? I promised to help out the refuge and you promised to look after Ben. Why should I look after him if you can't be bothered to, eh? Phil, I thought we'd sort with this out. Nah, you sorted it out. Where are you going? I don't know. Find some tramp that needs spoon feeding or, or give some junkie in hand with his needle. It's all the rage. What is the matter with that boy? He's driving me mad. Well, I can have him for half an hour, but then I'll have to get ready for opening time. No, that's right, Peggy. I won't go. It'll be easier. Here. Here. Shall I read another of those cracker limericks? No. I mean, <laughs> what with them and the burning fairy? I mean, getting things cheap off the market ain't such yeah. a good idea. Except for fruit and veg, that is. Here, go on. There was a young man from Venus. Oh, oh, no, no, no. What? <laughs> Right, well, I think we'd best be going. Come on, Martin. Right, out, all the way in. <laughs> you seen what I bought Irene? Yeah, a sparrow. It's a lovebird, supposed to be two. Oh, yeah? Well, what happened? One eloped. We had a lovely Christmas dinner, didn't we, Polly? Yeah. <laughs> we never stopped laughing. <laughs> I bet you didn't. You know what it's like when you all get on like a house on fire? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so uh, when did you two? Uh... What just happened? One of those things. Right, happy little foursome this Christmas. I haven't seen Tony laugh like that in ages. Isn't that right, Polly? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'm not keen to have everyone here. He thinks it's good for the kids. What does that mean? Just that. Yeah. They were fine when they were with me. They're fine now. What would you know about it? I'm with them all day, every day. You don't know anything about my kids. Of course, you're the expert, which is why you ended up kidnapping them and leaving the country. If I thought for one minute I would lose my kids, do you think I'd have done what I did? Can you imagine what it was like leaving Lucy behind? Every night I woke up thinking I could hear her crying. Every night. And now I'm fighting for them again. Fighting because I want to be with them. They are all my children, all three of them. And if I don't get them back, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm sorry. I didn't think. <laughs> Why should you? You work for him. You believe everything he tells you. No, I don't. The only thing I care about is getting my kids back. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I don't care if I have to live in a caravan. I just want them back. Hmm. Well, long. Oh, long enough. I thought he was going round to the refuge. Yeah, well, Phil's decided to let me down. He's considerate like that. Well, I'll look after Ben if you want. No, it's all right. There's no problem. I'm here with Courtney anyway. You sure? Yeah, I'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry. Oh, thanks. Well, what time do you want me back? Whenever. Right, well, I won't be long. Come right. on, love. I'll see you out. Thanks. What's going on? Oh, I just said to Cathy I'd look after Ben for her. I told you to stay out of it. Stay out of what? It's between Phil and Cathy. What is? It's business with Ben. Look, I offered to babysit Ben there, so I'll not send him to marriage guidance. And if Kathy wants to spend her Christmas with a load of losers, that's up to her. Uh. Right, I'm gonna go out for a bit of telly, a few beers and a gnarly night. Oh, eh? sounds good to me. I'll tell you what, I think the old man's dressed his legs. Be back in a five minutes, alright then? See you later. Ta-da. Thank you, Oh, better late than never. Where do you want me? Uh, take over from Sarah. No, it's all right, I'll stick to the end. Uh, help with the plates. Right. Problems? I'll tell you later. I can't wait. Need any help? You can never have too much, Dad. Now, this is doing something. This is really doing something. I'm proud of you. What's she doing here? I've come to see you. Come in, quick. We shouldn't have come here, Frank. Look, we've got to sort things out. If we don't do it now, we've only got to do it later. It's not the right time. I can't think about anything. I know, but look, Roy. I know that, I know that, but I want to clear up about the other night. Yeah? 
We were drunk. Let's just forget about it, please. OK, fine, but look, look, if there's anything I can do for either of you... Yes. Now, look, you may not believe this, but I actually like the guy. He's done right by you, which is more than could be said for me. You're all the same, aren't you? What do you mean? You're men. You think you've got to prove how good you are, how successful you are, and in the process you end up nearly killing yourselves. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps it was better when we lived in back-to-backs. Got bathed in front of the fire and went to work on Shanks' pony. <laughs> I think you may be right, baby. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, take care, eh? And you? Mind you don't go wandering off. I'll try not to. Think of. <laughs> you know what Ian's like, he'll probably take it off my next visit. Yeah, he's like that with my wages. <laughs> You're over your time. It's my fault my watch stopped. Bye. Don't let it happen again. What was she saying about me? Nothing. Yes, she was. She wasn't. She was saying how she'd messed up her life. Don't you believe it? She is one devious bitch. She seemed really upset to me. What do you know? I've had years of it. She would watch you dying in a gutter if it got her what she wanted. Let me take an in by her. I'm warning you. Oh, you come back to apologise? What for? Earlier. It wasn't down to me. What's this about, Phil? Nothing. Have an orange juice, please. She just needs a bit of space, Phil. Do something by herself. Everybody needs that sometimes. Well, what are you rabbiting about now? Just talking about having a bit of a life, that's all. But then you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Because you never do anything but please yourself. He's just coming. Thanks. I have to say, you're looking very lovely tonight. If you weren't a married woman, me and you could have some serious fun together. Well, if I wasn't a married woman, I'd probably be all for it. <laughs> I'm going to make a move. Why don't you come here today? Nothing better to do. <laughs> oh. Happy Christmas, Dad. Oh, thanks. Actually, I've got, uh, got a present for you as well. Uh, you left before I had a chance to give it to you this morning. Well, open them then. Bible. Oh, British Trade Unionism, 1717-1990. Guess that makes us quits. I guess so. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> and you, Dad. Good night, love. Good night. <laughs> Time for a glass of wine? Yeah, why not? Christmas puddings. What? They're on the stove. All of them. Cathy must have forgotten to take them with her. Well, it's a bit late now. Might not be. I'll take them round. I'll be two minutes. Oh, I'll come with you. Right. <laughs> Malibu and pineapple, please. Are you sure? Sure. <laughs> no, I'll do this. You go and see the cool No, I'm happy where I am. Yeah, well, that's obvious. Thought you weren't going to make it. Yeah, so did I. What happened? Just babysitter problems. All oh, right. Call me any time. If I'm free, I don't mind looking after the old child every now and then. Oh, not that I'm saying there's anything odd about Ben. Here's to a happy Christmas and a great year to come. You all right? Yeah, it's just, uh... It's just, uh... It's just been a long day, that's all. It's all right. It's all right. Well, where are you going? Do you care? Of course I care! Do me a favour. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? It means that when you want to start behaving like my wife again, just let me know. I'm sorry. It's OK. She was in such a state today. She'd have forgotten her own name, partner kept saying it. Yeah, Phil doesn't make it easy for her, does he? He certainly doesn't. He seems a bit quiet. Oh. Uh, 
Well, looks like we missed all the action. Oh, you never know. Here, let me have a go. What was that? What? Oh, we too late. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, with the puddings. No, no, come in. We can um, we can serve them up tomorrow. That'll be just fine. Right, I better be going. What already? Sorry, Ben's fast asleep. I better get him to bed then. Well, well hang on a minute, and we'll walk back with you. Yeah. Right, thanks. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Is this what I used to look like when I got drunk? No. You were a lot worse. Yeah, probably. So, what did Tiffany say to you tonight? When? No. Oh, she was talking about Kathy. And what about her? She was saying that she needs some time to herself. That's why she's doing this refuge thing. I told you before. Back off from Kathy a bit. Give her a bit of space. Maybe you should do the same with Tiffany. I'll give her loads of space. I don't give her any more space and... saying, that's all. The fact is, I want a baby. She doesn't. What is it with you and babies? Just, just want another baby. You know, a little brother for Courtney. A boy? You want a boy? All right, I, I wouldn't mind a boy. I knew it. What's wrong with that? I just think if you eased up on her a bit, she, she might come around in her own sight. That's all. I tried that. She ain't interested. She's driving me up the wall. Come on. Let's get back. It might not seem so bad once you've slept on it. <laughs> Look. I'll stay at your place. I've got no booze. It's all right. I brought me home. Go easy on me, eh? Tell her how it is, but don't go overboard. Yeah, yeah. Right, I mean it. I heard you. He's got his heart set on another baby. Yeah, but I'm not a baby machine. I know. I'm 21, I want a life. All I'll do is look after her and pull pints, and if Grant has his way, that's what I'll do until I collect me pension. I've got friends out there seeing the world doing things that I should be doing. I mean, if I have another baby, I'll never have a chance to do anything. Do you wish you hadn't married, Grant? No. You don't think that, do you? No, I don't. Which is why it's worth trying to sort things out. He loves you, Tiffany. And I love him. Then it'd be stupid to throw it all away, wouldn't it? Yeah. But just remember, he won't let this go. So it's down to you to find a solution. Morning. Morning. I was just going over to the refuge. Oh, right. Tidy up. Are you coming over? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Ah, oh, where the hell have you been? I feels. Oh, you've been on the booze all night. I can smell it. I had a few. And what state's Phil in? He didn't touch a drop. He just sat there and watched you get smashed? Yeah. Huh, that was clever of you. What are you getting so upset about? I just had a few drinks, that's all. And left your wife here by herself all Christmas night. Yeah, well, it's not down to me. It's Tiffany. What's Tiffany? Well, just leave me alone, will you? I've got hangover from hell. Well? You'll be in here another week at least. And then there's not to be any work. No work whatever. You've got to have complete rest. Yeah, but I could just... Roy, you're not listening to me. You've had a heart attack, love. You're in danger of having another if you don't get your strength back. So promise me you won't do anything, or I'll tell the doctor I can't have you home. All right. Good. We'll have it back as good as new in next to no time. Now what's the matter? Oh, if it's Barry, don't worry. No, it isn't Barry. What is it, then? Oh, we're not out of the woods yet. Well, I know that, but we'll get there. If you could bring me back as soon as possible, that'd be great. Thanks. Right. Someone to see you. Hello. I bought this off your Christmas Eve. An accident with it, have you? Oh, I just burst into flames. 
Well, you can't have read the instructions correctly. Switch on, that's all you said. Well, so what do you want me to do? Give me a refund. How can I give you a refund if it didn't cost you anything? It was a free gift. Not a very good free gift if it burns your house down. Did it burn your house down? No, but it singed the Christmas tree. Look, I'll give you a replacement. It's the best I can do. <laughs> what am I meant to do with this? Look, you've got 12 days left. If this one bursts into flames, come back to me, I'll give you a free CD of your choice. All right? All right. Mark it not home today, then. Tomorrow. Any idea where I might get hold of a lovebird? What, a real lovebird? Yeah, one that goes tweet tweet. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you then. You know that fairy doesn't work, but it's hardly likely to burst into flames, is it? What are you looking for? Pet shops. He's obviously desperate to get hold of a lovebird. If I find him one, I can make a bit of money. This one. No, I like this one, but it looks no, short. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm choosing a new outfit for tonight. And what do you need another dress for? Because I want to look good. Yeah, everyone knows why. What? So you're going to have blokes leching all over you all night? No, because if I look good, I feel good. Yeah, well, in future, just concentrate on being my wife instead, yeah? She's only choosing a dress. You can just shut it as well. Grant! I'll tell you it's going to be from now on. No more flirting, no more carrying on you. My wife, the mother of my child, so behave like it. What about you? I told you. It's all right for you to stay out all night, isn't it? I was at my brother's. You still out all night? I ain't arguing. Five minutes downstairs. I think it must have been something I ate. I definitely didn't feel well this morning. Couldn't have been something you drank, could it? Oh, I only had the old cherry all day. What time's your train back to Rochdale then? Not this afternoon. Oh, right, I can come with you to the station. Neil's coming in soon. All right. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, Merry Christmas for yesterday. Oh, thanks. I wasn't sure if you were going to be open. Always open us. We were open yesterday. No, no, not yesterday. Always open, uh, except yesterday. <laughs> I brought this back. Oh, right. Um, I I've got some more coming in you might like to see. Oh, right, thanks. I I'll give you a ring when they come in. Right. Do you know what they're likely to be? French. Yeah, definitely French, I think. <laughs> well, that narrows it down to a few million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'll wait for your call then. Right, OK. Au revoir. Bye. Friend of yours. Julie? No, no, she's just uh, one of uh, Claire's teachers. We've just got the same taste in films, that's all. Mrs Evans? Yeah? William Blanchard, can we come in, please? Uh, there's something I need to talk to you about. What? We're acting on behalf of the Walford District Council Oh, and... is it about that hostel thing? No, it's not. What is it about, then? I think we should discuss it inside. It's about a sum of money that's outstanding. Hang on. You saying we owe you money? Uh, Walford District Council. Uh-uh. We don't owe anybody anything. I'm afraid you do. We sold off everything to clear our debts, right? It's a sum of a thousand pounds that is owed to the council. Of what? Business rates. Oh, do me a favour. Mm. Where you got that? Yeah, I thought I'd take a wobble over the old B&B, &B, see what they're doing with it. Do you wish you were still there, Dad? Yeah, yeah, I'm a silly to let it all go. Don't you make the same mistake. It's boxing day, haven't you got anything better to do? No, looking at the pair of yours, I don't suppose you have. Well, I'm sorry, mate, you're out of luck. We haven't got hundred pounds, let alone a thousand. Then we're going to have to take items totaling that amount. We're going to get the thousand pounds. Not from me, you ain't. You want to bet? Oh, no, of course, I forgot you can't afford to, can you? Get off my step. <sighs> Come on, now, look at him. He's going in whether you like it or not. Shut up or I'll punch your lights out. Somehow, I don't think you'll get that near. Oi, 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 what's going on here? Mr Evans? No. Does he look as if he's just come out of hospital? Then could you please step aside? No, I couldn't. I want to know what's going on. We're collecting monies owed to the council, that's all. We haven't got it. Are you deaf or just stupid? You're the bailiffs, are you? Yes. Some identification. <sighs> Happy now? A thousand pounds. That's right. Okay, the debt'll be settled. What? I said it'd be taken care of. When? Now? Hardly, pal. It's Boxing Day. Then tough. I said the debt will be settled. Now. I'm willing to punch this out here and there, or you can take my word for it. You got three days. That's all. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Who's Julie? Julie who? 
A teacher friend of Nigel's come in the shop this morning. Miss Hay? Oh, is that her name? What does she want? Just bringing back a film. Oh, is that all? What else would she be after? Nothing. Seem very fond of him. Who? Oh, Nigel, of course. She doesn't really like him. How do you know? Well, it's obvious. She's just interested in the project I'm doing, that's all. Right, what time's that train? Uh, I ain't sure. Shall I ring and find out? No, I'll get it on the internet. No, you don't have to. Well, what about your friend in Rochdale? Won't she want to meet you? Well, that's the problem. What is? She's dead. Dead? Dead. Dead? I didn't want to tell you before, cos I didn't want to spoil your Christmas. But I couldn't bear to be in that house all by myself. So, would you mind if I stayed a little longer? No wonder Roy was working so hard. Thanks for stepping in like that. Yeah, at least I could do. You shouldn't have said the debt would be paid, though. There's no way that can happen. Why not? Oh, come on. You know the state we're in. I'll pay. No, you won't. <laughs> All right, then. You can, uh, you can pay me back when you can. You know I can't accept that. Why not? Because of Roy. He'd go mental if he thought we was accepting loans off of you. Then don't tell him. I can't do that. Pat, if he finds out the bailiffs are on your back, he's going to have more than an heart attack. Yeah, well, there must be something else I can do. There isn't, darling. Take the money. Take it in the spirit that it's intended to help a friend. I was just putting me up water bottle in the bed, and I heard a bang. It was your friend. Falling down the stairs. That might be me one day. Could happen tonight. No, it couldn't. The worst thing was, they were stone. The stairs were stone? They was the cellar stairs. And when you bang your head on stone, you know about it. Or in her case, you don't. When was this? Two weeks before Christmas. Oh, we had a lovely funeral. Ever so moving. Sang Silent Night. Well, you can stay with us for as long as you like, Mrs C. Well, I can't stop for long, cos I've got to get back for all the legal stuff. Well, won't the family deal with that? Well, she ain't got no family. It's all down to me. You know, pensions, insurances. Then there's the house. House? It's got to be sold. Can't you buy it? Seeing as you love Rochdale so much. Ah, I ain't the same as here. Here's where I feel at home. You all right? No. What's the matter? Oh, it's my mum. You never guess what she's got and done now. What? She's... Oh, go on. She's got herself and your boyfriend. Oh! Terry. Oh, what a slut. I'm sorry, Sarah. No, she is. I'm sure glad your dad's not here now. Yeah, I just had to get out of the house. Would well, you want to come to my place? Well, I'm on my way over to see Alex. Well, I'll walk with you. I'm on to Ian's. It's Stephen's birthday today. What did you do with the dead love bird? I flashed it down the loo. No! She's joking, Mum. Oh. Well, I think those two birds say it all. So do I. You two going to the party at the Vic tonight? I'm not sure yet. Why not? Polly'd love to go, wouldn't you, Polly? Well, and you'll need an escort. We might just pop in, all right? That's right. It'd be nice to see you out together. Well, I'd better get off. Uh, I've got to go to work now. I I'll walk round with you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Don't worry. You don't have to go tonight if you don't want to. It could be fun. Yeah. Yeah, it could. Fancy a drink now? Why not? I'll go and get my coat. Polly, I've really liked you being here. Take us long to tidy up this morning, did it? No. And to dish out cold Christmas pudding. Oh, I'm sorry, that was my fault. I forgot all about it. No, 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 I think they quite enjoyed it. And it made you change from soggy cornflakes. Anyway, tell Alex I'll call back. OK. Oh, do you know what time we'll be back? No, he's been out all day. Want me to give him a message? No, I'll, I'll catch him later. You know there's a deal at the Vic tonight? Yeah, are you going? Yeah, we're putting the music in. Mick's going to be playing. Oh, wish I could go. Yeah, well, no one's no, being no, stuck no, in this yeah. place all the time. I know. Sorry, mate. Right, what's happening? Uh, we just brought a tape round for Mary. Uh, so she could play past the parcel. We're just off. Yeah, I'll uh, see you tonight then, Mary. Yeah, over at the Vic. Right, who's got the parcel then? Come on, start the music. Come on, pass it on, pass it on. We'll pay you back as soon as we can. There's no hurry. Yes, there is. I don't want to be in debt to anybody for anything, least of all you. Pat, I owe you a lot more than a thousand pounds for what I did. That's in the past, Frank. Not for me, it's not. A thousand pound loan makes you feel better, does it? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean that. Nothing would make me feel better for what I did. 
Look, Frank, I, I know you must be having difficulty coming to terms with this, but I've got my problems with it and all. Oh, I'm sure you do. No. With me. With what I did when I was with you, with what I've done to Roy. You did nothing. I'm beginning to think that maybe I ask too much, no. I expect too much. No. Or maybe I'm a jinx. Oh, you shack up with me and you go bankrupt. Well, I tell you, if you start a thing like that, you need a break. Can't help thinking like that. Look, why don't you let me write you another check? You can go somewhere hot, lie in the sun, and I'll tell you what, I'll come with you just to make sure you're not a jinx. <laughs> i better go before I get tempted. Yeah. Terry, you'll have to stay on top of those glasses tonight. We don't want to run out. I'm your man. There you go. You look great like that. Oh, yeah, for moving furniture. I think I might ring him. Who? Harold. What for? Slag him off. <laughs> it makes you feel better. Might just do that. You're starting a bit early, aren't you? Oh, and you ain't. This is medicinal. Yep, and this is the first of many. The party starts now. Here, where are you off to? I'm meeting Chris. We're going off to a club. Uh, no, you're not. You're both coming in. Oh, we can't. Yes, you can. We need a bit of young blood. I'll see. Where are you going? I'm going to get changed. I just said you look all right. No, you may think so, but I don't. Why do you never listen to a word I say? Grant, why don't you like me enjoying myself? I don't mind you enjoying yourself. Yes, you do. You're never happy unless I'm laid up in bed. I just my wife behaving like a slut. Don't start, Grant. I mean it. I mean it. I want to have a good time, so tough. Oh, well, I think he enjoyed his birthday party. It would have been better if there were more people, though, like yesterday. Is that why you invited Hugh and Lenny around? I didn't invite them. They brought the tape. I don't want to see them around here again. Why not? Because they're no good drugged-up losers, and I don't want you or my kids having anything to do with them. Me? Yes. Now you're stopping me talking to people. You're lucky I'm not sacking you for letting them in here. If it's all the same with you, I'll talk to who I please. I do have the right to a life. Mary, I'm not stopping you from having a life. But you're here to look after my children, and that's what I expect you to do. Would it be all right if I went to the dig tonight? No, not tonight. Well, why not? What if one of the kids wakes up? Well, couldn't you see to them for once? No. Besides, I'm going out of it. Peggy, I've got Courtney in the spare room. It's just a bit quiet for me. Yeah, hi. Hello. Hi, yeah. Time again, is it? Yeah. And I thought you looked amazing last night. Now, first name out the hat is Nigel. <laughs> and your forfeit is Oh. Drink a yard of ale. Who's he day? I mean, this old lady. Her husband died. I couldn't get hold of her family, so I stayed with her. Pretty depressing, eh? It's part of the job. All right. Leave your coat on. Why? We're going for a drink. No, Come I don't. on, don't worry. We won't break into your stipend. I don't feel... Come on. You smell a bereavement. Dregs of Wolford. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, look, your friends are all right. Come on, Mum, I'll do it with you. Go on! Come on, Mum! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Why can't I have a go? It's not safe, bro. Fair play to you. I'll be patient. I'll see what's wrong with everyone else and how they can put it right, but when it comes to me and my problems, I don't come anywhere close. Well done, oh, brilliant! I think that deserves extra drinks. Well done, Paulie, well done, Mark. <laughs> Look, Mark, I think you're going to need a Evening. Evening. Heard you had a nice day yesterday. Feeding the 5,000. It wasn't that many. Must be nice to have the kind of power that takes a mother away from her family on Christmas Day. Oh, and next one up is Doc Parton. <laughs> oh, and your forward is... You've got to tell a joke. George, look what I found. 
Oh, yeah. How's tricks? Some sir. Uh, Grant, usual and a pint of bitter, please. I'll get them. Oh, here's one. My Nick told me it when he was little. What does a chiropodist eat for his breakfast? Weetabix. <coughs> I, I think you'll find out it was cornflakes, Doc. Eh? <laughs> What's wrong with Weetabix? Uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> you're not a man. You're a low life scumbag, that's what you are. Cockroaches have got more going for you than what you have. You're going at it a bit tonight, aren't you? Yeah, well, after last night, I don't want to get withdrawal symptoms, do I? I'm offering you a gift here, George. What's the matter with you? I'm not interested. I don't want nothing to do with protection. Not now, not never. So you might as well stop wasting your breath. <laughs> oh, and the next one out is Ricky Butcher. Yeah. And Ricky, you've got to sing a song. Oh, I can't sing. Yes, you can. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. Right, I'm out of here. Oh, come with you. Nah, it's all right. I'm going to a gay club. Maybe I can sort myself out there. It's only good. To a club. But we were having such a good time here. Love me tender, Typical. Love me messes up my son's life. Then messes up our evening. Oh, He's such a nuisance. I don't understand where he gets it from. I'll be like his father. For Cheers to him. my darling, I love you. <laughs> uh, you're the not talking. Sorry? He's over there. I thought you must have had enough of him yesterday. You were the last to leave. Yeah. Love me long. Take me. Hey, I was married then. Oh, I'm looking after a kid. Oh, that's a shame. She really would have liked this. Why don't I go over and bring him across? No, I'd have found what I don't think you're being right by Mary. What? You make it work all the hours God sends. You pay her a pittance. Most of the time you're hardly civil to her. And you definitely don't appreciate what she's doing for you. She's not a slave, you know? Yeah, well, don't treat her like that. Yes, you do. And I'm asking you nicely. I'd like it to stop. All right? For my darling, I love you. And I always will. Your respect rating will be zero. Oh. I'll live with it. Yeah, well done, Michael. This is what we all need, ladies and gentlemen. Satisfaction. Bam, 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 Eight grand is what I'm asking. And is he interested? Is he hell? I just have to go somewhere else. He's going through a strange phase at the moment. Why don't you have a word with him? See if he listen to you. Okay. I can't make any promises. Do you want to come back to the club for a night, Cap? Yeah, why not? Man comes on the radio. He's telling me more and more. I use this information for my satisfaction. Morning. You've got no wine and bread to dispense. I'll even bring you breakfast in bed. Next out of the hat is Bianca! Have you all the twist? Bianca? 
Don't you realise you drove my son out of his own local? Me? He's got himself a nice girl now. I know you lot. You're worse than women for being jealous. Well, you lost. So you and what's his face here can sling the rook. Come on, Chris. seems to be in big trouble. See what happens tomorrow here on BBC One at 8 o'clock. Sports results coming next in the final score.